Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here is the long awaited fitness update you all have been waiting for. A lot of people have wanted to know where I am in my fitness journey. If you haven't watched my two other episodes, go watch them because they're my week one and my week two, I think, of when I first started this fitness journey. And um, you can go watch those if you want like a intro on what this whole thing is about. But I thought today I would jump on here and just tell you guys where I'm at and some tips for you guys that have really been helping me. So right now, I am in this place where I am trying to change my self-talk, <laughs> like help myself love my body just how it is, and in a place where I could change my eating habits in a way that are sustainable. Like those are the two biggest things that I'm struggling with, and um, those are the two things that I am working on. So I have lost like 22-ish pounds. I will just disclaimer and say if weight numbers, eating habits, any of that triggers you, click out of this video. Your mental health is way, 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 way more important than this video. So if any of that is triggering for you, please do not watch. Um, but if it's not, keep watching. Um, so I've lost about 22-ish pounds. I feel like I'm stuck where I am right now. I'm really struggling to lose more weight, mostly because I'm eating terribly. <laughs> know that's like the hump that I need to get over is my diet. I also want to be transparent and say 10 of those 22 pounds were not, I didn't lose those in a healthy way. I was going through obviously a really hard time. I wasn't eating. Like I went weeks without really eating. When I did eat, I would throw it up because I was so anxious. My body couldn't hold food down. So I do want to be transparent and say 10 of those pounds were not left, were not lost in a healthy way, but the 12 other pounds were. Um, so I also want to tell you that I tried so many different diets and I did my mom's bodybuilding diet. I did um, keto. I did <laughs> um, Weight Watchers. Like I did all those things and I'm just not capable of sticking with them. Like I'm not a diet person. I get bored. I get over it. I want to do my own thing. So um, I'm trying to find new ways to create a sustainable, healthy lifestyle that I can keep up every single day for the rest of my life. And I think that I have found some really good tips that I've been using that I really wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to jump into those tips. So the first one is to set non-negotiables for yourself. Non-negotiables are the things that no matter what happens, you are going to do that and you don't cancel it. You don't move it for anyone, not even yourself. You don't make excuses to not do it. You don't like nothing comes in the way between you and your non-negotiable. But my non-negotiables were three days a week. Monday, I'm starting like I am starting over. I do life coaching with an amazing, amazing person named Derek Grant and he is available. Um, if you guys want to do life coaching with him, I do life coaching with him. Kyle does life coaching with him. So does my brother and a bunch of other athletes and high schoolers. Like he does all ages, whether they're an athlete, not an athlete. He is just full of so, so much wisdom. But basically, um, he had me write down my ideal day. My ideal day, I woke up at 5.30. So Monday through Friday, every single day, I am waking up at 5.30 and I'm going to the gym and I'm doing my morning routine. So now my new non-negotiables are Monday through Friday, 5.30 wake up call, work out every single morning, meditate 10 minutes, spend time with God in the morning. Then I start work and go about my day. Two, Celsius. Not everyone needs a pre-workout. I personally can't drink normal pre-workout. makes me jittery. It makes my stomach upset. Like I just feel like I'm just bouncing all over the wall. Anyways, um, Celsius. I love Celsius. I would recommend that over any pre-workout ever. <laughs> like I love it so much. Tip number three is acceptance. I had to accept the fact that my body is not going to look like high school Alexa. High school Alexa was in her teens playing multiple sports with the fastest metabolism in the world. My body has changed. My hormones are different. My body has matured. I have more curves. And that's just like what happens. Your body matures with you. Accept your body where it is right now. Love your body where it is right now. Positive self-talk. Accept it. And I struggle. Like these are the things that I struggle with. Like I'm not good at these either. Like I struggle really, really hard with them. This is my tip number three is acceptance. Tip number four, ask who told you that. 
And this kind of goes along with tip number three, but again, Derek, my life coach, has been making me think to myself when I have these like subconscious thoughts that just pop up and reactions to situations, he says, ask yourself, who told you that, right? So who told me that my body right now isn't a perfect body? Who told me that my body right now needs work? And to me, it's like, well, society told me that. Back forever ago, curvier women were the body standard than stick thin women. And now it's like, you need that Car Kim Kardashian body with the tiny waist and huge butt and big breasts, like all those things. <laughs> like the societal standard for what the perfect body is, is constantly changing. So don't let society tell you how your body is supposed to look. So ask yourself, who told you that? Who told you your body wasn't beautiful? And if it's anything other than truth, give those thoughts permission to leave your head and replace them with positive self-talk. This body is beautiful. I am beautiful the way I am. Other people don't decide, I decide. And for me, and if you're not Christian, like replace that with positive self-talk. Me, I replace it with truth that my body is beautifully and wonderfully made, that God took his time making me. So if the ruler of the most high took his time hand tailoring me, am I gonna let the world tell me that I'm not beautiful? No, why would I do that? No, and it's really, really hard to do and I still do it. I literally like had a breakdown literally a week ago because a dress that I got that fit me perfectly three weeks ago is so tied on me now and I lost it. I was so upset, ruined my whole night. And then the next day I was so mad at myself. Like, why did you let that ruin your night? Replace your negative thoughts with positive ones. And when you do it enough and you repeat it enough, eventually your subconscious will begin to change and you won't have those thoughts as frequently, if at all. So that was my tip number four. My fifth tip is to swap small things. Don't think God intended us all to be stick thin or to follow one specific body standard. I do think that he intends for us to take care of our bodies. And there's a difference between taking care of our bodies versus trying to make our bodies look a certain way, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so some examples of things that I've been swapping. I've been swapping most of my meat with vegan meat other than chicken and fish. So like ground beef, I get meatless, like the vegan impossible meat. And for burgers, I get the impossible burger. Like I've been making that switch. I've been trying to eat less gluten, getting gluten-free things if they're available, gluten-free tortilla chips. I switched all my dairy to like non-dairy. So oat milk, um, almond milk, just dairy free things when I can. Don't like, I still eat dairy, I still eat cheese, um, sour cream, <laughs> like I still do that stuff, but in the places where I have a substitute that I like and I can't tell the difference, I make that swap. So I'm still eating some meat, I'm still having some dairy, but I'm not having a lot of it. It's like small bits of it. So I just try to make those small switches whenever I can, like get a lettuce bun, like a, a lettuce bun instead of having the normal bun. Get no salt on your french fries if you get french fries. Um, just small things like that. Sorry, it stopped. So just do small things like that, just small little swaps like that. And I think it just comes down to putting things into your body that genuinely make your body feel good. Recently, I've still been getting so many stomach aches and I think that I have like a slight gluten intolerance and I think that's why my stomach's hurting because the days that I'm really intentional about not eating gluten, I feel great. Like I don't have one stomach ache, but whenever I eat like I did today, I had chicken wings and my stomach really hurts. So put things into your body that make your body feel good, whatever that may be. Six has to do with restricting. Personally, for me, restricting doesn't work for me. If I restrict myself from eating something, I will then binge that same thing, like to the point that I'm sick. So I stopped restricting myself. When I crave something, I eat it. <laughs> that's just what I do. And I personally like, I think that's also why I can't stick to super strict diets because I still wanna enjoy my life. I still wanna be social. I still wanna go out to eat with friends and like, not revolve my whole life around what I'm eating. So I personally like 
don't restrict myself. I just try to make healthy choices when I can or when I have the option. But if I'm craving a burger, I'm gonna eat a burger. If I'm craving french fries, I'm gonna eat french fries. But the goal is to do that all in moderation and not eat like copious amounts of it. Again, that's just what works for me. If your non-negotiable is don't eat dairy, then don't, and you can do that and do it in a healthy way, not in like an obsessive way, awesome do that for me i can't restrict myself because it leads to it leads to more destruction essentially <laughs> so i don't restrict myself if i'm craving something i eat it and the very last tip that i have for you guys is to find workouts that you like like make working out fun make moving your body fun and i also like working out doesn't need to be like going to the gym and and deadlifting and squatting and like doing all this crazy stuff like no you don't have to do that like you could go for a 30 minute walk go through a 30 minute jog do a run walk you know what i mean go for a hike go cycling like there's so many ways that you can move your body i just think it's important that you move it so for me i love weights like i like weightlifting it's my preferred method of working out with some conditioning thrown in there. I am not good at just showing up to the gym and knowing what to do. I like having someone tell me what to do. It's just how I am. I like to show up, have someone tell me what to do and not have to think about it and be in and out 45 minutes. And I have found the perfect gym for that. So if you are in Sacramento, I highly recommend Hyper Thrive Athletics. They train athletes and I think that's why I like it so much because it makes me feel like I'm at lifts for like track, like I'm at track practice again and I feel comfortable there, like it's my element. So it's mainly weightlifting, mobility, core, and they always throw some kind of conditioning there at the end, whether it's jump roping, biking, running, jogging, whatever. They always have conditioning at the end of it and I'm in and out in 45 minutes and they tell me what to do and I love it. And I love it because the classes are small. So when I go, there's like seven other people there with me, if even that if I go to the 6 a.m. So, and there's like, there, it's three brothers that own it. So like, there's always one trainer there and it's kind of like having personal training without having to pay for personal training, which is really, really nice. And um, I don't have to think about it. They do my workout plan. I show up, I do the workout, they show me how to do it. They help me with my technique. I get to socialize with all the people there. It's like a fun little community. And then I leave and I'm in and out and it's awesome and I love it. So I get excited to go work out because I love the method of working out that I'm doing. So, find workouts that you love um because i think that keeps you motivated when you're excited to do your workout i feel like that makes you more motivated because you just want to do it because you love it so much right so anyways <laughs> that is my seven tips for you guys and i think i'm going to i kind i, I want to film and show you guys what i do in the gym but i'm shy so I don't know, we'll see. Um, but that's it guys, that's a little fitness update for you. If you guys honestly have any tips on how to find a more sustainable diet, because that is honestly what I've been struggling with is making my diet healthy, but in a sustainable way. Um, if you wanna see more fitness related videos, let me know what you wanna see. Like, do you wanna see my workouts? Do you wanna see what I eat? Do you wanna see what I buy at the grocery store? Like what fitness related things do you guys wanna see from me? So much for watching guys. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.